All right, questions for Andre. Oh, go ahead. Hey, Andre, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. So you, 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 you've been really, really patient, you know, re retroding last year and uh, maybe in the spring, you know, still, uh, you know, get, getting used to do system and everything. What do you think are the factors that have contributed to contribute your success and have you come uh, such a long way from last year until now in the preseason? Uh, I feel like I've just been, I've just been a lot more focused uh, this year than uh, last year. Like last year, I, was, I wasn't really like, Bought completely into the program. I was, I was kind of, I was kind of not focused on what I needed to do in order to get better. And uh, this year, like, I tried to uh, just make sure that I, I, I did what I could in order to get on the field and actually get playing time this year. And I, I kind of cut out some of the things that distracted me. So that I'm pretty sure that that uh, we should be up a little bit. Back Friday. Hey Andre. So y'all are through two weeks of practice now, and there's less than two weeks to go till USC. Um, what What's the mentality like in the wide receiver room right now? Uh, right now, like we're all just we're all just making sure that that we're doing what we need to do in order to in order to beat USC. Like the the whole mindset right now is just is just to stay focused on what we need to do and uh, just make sure that that we're catching balls, we're running the routes like we're supposed to. We're we're we're, we're getting into field on the uh, on their defense and everything. So we're we're just doing what we need to do in order to get better, so we can secure it up. Oh. So Andre, when when you face uh, you know some of the best cornerbacks uh, in the Pac-12 uh, every day in practice, do you think also when you talk about your own development that just facing guys like Chase and Jack every day uh, really does um, help your growth as a player? Oh yeah, uh, most definitely. Like they, I really do think that they're the best uh, DBs in the Pac-12. Like they might be some of the best DBs in the nation, in my opinion. And uh, like going up against them in practice, like they're uh, like the way that they do things, like the way that they play the ball and play play. Uh, play their position. It's just, I feel like not really many, many doing it like them. So going up against them, like it's just helped me a lot. Just knowing like what other DBs could do. Cause they're doing, they're throwing a, a whole bunch of looks at us and uh, a whole bunch of like defensive sets and everything. So just going up against them every day, it's been, it's been a huge help. Hunter. Hey Andre, you mentioned that uh, you last year you kind of felt like you were still getting yourself into the program and, and kind of finding, finding your place. Frank, Frank Darby has mentioned how he's kind of taking on a bigger leadership role this year. Can you kind of talk about what he's done for you since, since you've been here and how he's trying to help work you in? Uh, I mean, this year specifically, like he's, he's been really trying to get into my head to make sure that I'm focused all the time. And uh, every day I practice, like either before or after practice, he's always, he's always just telling me like what I've, what I've done wrong, like what I, uh, what I need to work on and everything, and just making sure that my head's straight and I'm not, and I'm not getting into the into the ways I was last year when I wasn't focused and everything. So he's he's been a, he's been a really great mentor for me specifically just because I I play his position too. So uh, he's been he's been a, he's been a really great mentor for me this year. Zach, hey Andre, thanks for doing this today. Uh, you said earlier that the difference this year is that you bought into the program and you're really invested in it. What changed? Um, I mean, not playing last year. Like it kind of it kind of got to me a little bit just just because like I knew I could but I just uh, I stopped myself and I, I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen this year. I want to make sure that like I could do what I needed to do and, and if I just didn't make it because I wasn't good enough then I just have to get better next year. But I knew I, I know I could do it. I just needed to stay focused and uh, that's that's what I did this year. Michael. Yeah, Andre. I mean to piggyback to off uh, Frank, how much? Um... I mean, his, his obviously energy is contagious, but I mean, even with the focus and everything and just matching his energy, does it kind of, I mean, make it easier to go to practice every day and sit in the film room with the, with the guy like Frank around? Oh yeah. It's just like his, his energy is really, it really is contagious. And it's just like, he, he lights the boot up in any situation. It doesn't really matter like what's going on. Like, uh, like he just, he just, he just brings out the energy and everyone. And if we're not matching it, then he like, he'll, he'll try to make sure that we are matching it. And, uh, you know, like he just he just he just keeps the mood light around around the facility and just just in the meeting rooms and everything. So everybody can just be less tense and everything. So so we can just relax around everybody and just, you know, focus on what we need to do. Oh, last question. So Andre, I know I know that sometimes when you play for the hometown team, it can be a pressure. A lot of friends and family uh, want you to see succeed. And sometimes it takes a little time. But when you talk about 
maybe not being focused because you did because uh, you did retro last year. Do you think having the support of, of your friends and family nearby really helps you to, to, to get through all this and maybe they're, they're also a part of uh, your development of where you are right now? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Like I, I felt like I let my I let my uh, my my city, my my family, my uh, my friends, everybody. I just felt like I let them down last year. They, they're all they're all really excited to see me play. They're all really excited to see me make plays and everything. So I, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, like for them, like, but I, I want them to be proud of me, you know, and I can't I can't have that happen if uh, if I'm not on the field. So just thinking of them made like made me want to focus even more just to push myself and everything to, in order to get on the field and, and make some to make something happen. All right. Thanks, Andre. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Andre. Thanks, Andre.